Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mark Chang from Kettlebells Los Angeles and I'm here in Adelaide, Australia today with Duncan Maxwell at the Energy Clinic. Today we're going to share with you some of the previews from our upcoming Kettlebells from the Ground Up DVD that features myself, Brett Jones, and Jeff O'Connor. Um, one of the most useful rehab and training postures you, that you'll see mentioned over and over is half kneeling. So I'm going to ask Duncan to get in a half kneeling position here. Uh, knee of your choice. And this is a really great exercise, not only for conditioning, but also for rehabilitation. If you've got someone that's very quad dominant, this will challenge them. And if it challenges them, this is what you want to work them on. If the quad is very tight, you're going to see them present not like Duncan is very straight, but kind of like this. Here's a side view. As Duncan is demonstrating, he's actually got his hip in full extension. Now, someone with a real severe case of quad dominance will not be able to extend that hip because the quad will be overruling the glute. So from here, I've got Duncan with his foot dorsiflexed, and I'm going to bring it such that it's right behind his toe, or rather the toe right behind his knee. This is in line, and you can also see by the gridding on the mat, it is in line. His front foot is about hip width away from his, the line here. So his front foot's pointing straight ahead to create that short foot arch position. And then what I'm going to have him do is take the hips of both sides and level them off. Now, most people, when they first get into this position, especially if they're tight or locked up, are going to have their hip kicked out to the side just to try and preserve a little bit of uh, ease for that, for that quad. Um, unfortunately, as you can tell, he's slanted this way. Um, and kicking his hip out to the side. So what I want him to do is drop or hinge this hip down. Both hips are facing flush forward, perpendicular to the line of his leg. Both ASISs are nice and parallel to the ground. And you'll notice that in doing this, he's centering more of his weight over that base knee. That's excellent. From here, we want to relax the arm so he's not winging out like this, letting all the extra tension aside from the spine, drop away from the body. From the knee, the hip, the shoulder, and the head, he's got a nice vertical line. So I'm going to ask Duncan to get out of that posture for a moment and give you a side view facing that away, please. And again, same knee down. So his foot and his knee are on the crease. Nice measuring uh, cue there. His front foot is out in front. He's got his knee, his hip, his shoulder, and his head aligned vertically, as you can see. I'm going to have him drop this hip down a little bit more. That's going to run him into his quad. He'll be feeling that. And he's nodding to give you that absolute thumbs up there. And also, what this is doing is now that he's forced to stabilize in this position, his adductor on this base leg is working overtime. He'll be feeling that shortly, too, if not already. The glute of his support leg is what's driving his hip forward against his quad. Now, if his quads are really tight, he'll be lucky to hold this for five seconds. Gradually, you'll build up a little bit more each time, a little bit more strength, and a little bit more flexibility. So this is driving the flexibility or the mobility in the quad, as well as the strength of the glute and the reflexive strength of the adductor. This is our half kneeling posture. And then from here, you have a, a whole variety of different exercises you can do. But if you can't get into the posture, don't bother with the exercises yet. Enjoy. For more information on this exercise and several others that we use in FMS-based correctives, please visit www.energyclinic.net. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Sifu Nino Pila of the Nino Pila International Martial Arts Academies for bringing me here to Adelaide, Australia. You can find more information on him, the Inasano Martial Arts Curriculum, and more at www.ninopila.com. Thank you.